Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. Um, I'm sorry if I still sound sick or if you hear our washer in the background. I just wanted to get this intro filmed really fast. Um, I'm super excited for this plan with me because I'm using this beautiful kit from Nikki Plus 3. Here are the foiled bow samplers that came with it as a freebie because I was like one of the first like 20 orders or something like that. There was like a set number, so those are gorgeous. Here are the full boxes I've wanted to purchase from Nikki Plus 3 for a really long time, but um, I've just been trying to save my money, so I haven't until I saw this kit. I knew I just had to have it. So here are the full boxes and like some third boxes and some arrows. Then this is the half boxes and appointment label sheet, and there's some quarter labels and page flags and some script stuff. Then we have the date covers, date dots, some deco and a weekend banner, some sidebar stuff, bill dues, appointment label, and some icons. Then we have these gorgeous checklists, some more um, third or quarter boxes, and then some bow clips. This sheet is the headers, some decorative headers. These are what she considers her little things which are kind of just like appointment labels, two half boxes, and some unfoiled bows. And then the last sheet is another sidebar tracker, some washi strips, and the bottom washi, and then we have these like canceled headers and some asterisks. So I'm going to get started with the bottom washi, I think. Okay, I do have these, so I am going to cover up the page flags, but I think I'm going to do this like true Nikki style and do a page flag or like a washi weekend banner but I don't think I have any washies that would really match with this and the only page flags she has are these and that's not enough to fit so I don't know we'll see if I do or not but the rest of this is going to be a voiceover just because since I'm sick that's easier than when I'm not sick hopefully in a day or two and I sound better, I will record the voiceover. So I will talk to you guys in the voiceover. All right guys, so getting started, I just, um, what am I doing here? Okay, that's what I thought. Um, I'm putting down the bottom washi and normally I don't like my washi to go all the way up to like the bottom of the boxes. But since the like skinnier washi strip that she included with this kit was like a super light colored wood grain, I did decide to put that all the way up to the bottom of the boxes just because I felt like it didn't make it look cluttered since it was um, such a light color. I love this paper that she uses. It's like a premium matte and it feels amazing. I did have like a little trouble on one sheet getting it to peel up, but I don't think I've ever used a premium matte kit that didn't have problems like I know that stuff is super hard to like cut um like it was fine it came up it just took me a little bit longer so if you see a little bit of a longer pause that's probably what I'm doing so here I'm trying to decide how I want to use my full boxes since there was only one red one and one blue one I wanted to make sure those were a little bit spaced out evenly throughout the spread so I did decide to go with this yellow one with the mason jar and the flowers. Um, even now, looking at this kit, I seriously love it so much. This kit is stunning. Nikki did an amazing job with it. And um, I wish I had bought two, honestly. Um, but that's okay. So I put down a Monday through Sunday tracker with a this week header. Lately, I've been using those trackers to track um, my cleaning schedule since I do have like my own apartment now. And um, before I was like living with family or whatever. So I just, you know, made sure to clean up after myself and keep my bedroom clean and clean up in the bathroom. Um, but now that I have my own place, I really need to make sure that we keep it clean so that's just what I've been using that for sometimes I use it to track um, sales in my Etsy shop sometimes I use it to track my spending but cleaning has been my go-to lately 
Then I put down a remember header with two habit trackers. One is for reading and one is for wearing my retainer. Those I don't think I've changed up in probably a year. Sometimes I add in like a third one, but I'm pretty sure every single week for like all of 2018 so far, I've had reading and wearing my retainer. Then I put down a next week header and one of the ombre heart checklists that I cut up. I love how she includes one that has a pattern. I think it's so pretty and unique and just adds a little bit um, extra to it. So then here I'm just putting the date dots on the date covers and then I'm going to go ahead and put those on. Um, I know she does include like an extra sheet that you can add on to her kits that include like extra date covers and a weekend banner and like sidebar stuff like that so you can get two um, spreads out of your kits, which I think is awesome. Um, and then I also put down the page flag, um, at the end of the week, just so that way it wouldn't cover the date cover. And then I added a couple pieces of deco, the rest I save, you'll see that, um, towards the end of my spread. And then starting on Monday, I put down what she considers to be one of her little things, and then I put a foiled bow, from that sampler on there to mark that I watched Lost with my boyfriend before I went to school. Then I put down a to-do header and an ombre heart checklist uh, for some to-dos I needed to do throughout the day, which included designing and getting some orders done as always, and then just some homework things. Um, I've really been trying to stay on top of my homework and it's nice because on Tuesdays and Thursdays I have about two hours, actually I have two and a half hours in between classes. So that's been pretty nice so I can like force myself to take that time to sit on campus and do homework instead of going home and taking a nap or something. Um, I put down a half box to mark that I had some review to do and another foil bow. Then I put down the wood grain and floral full box and then I know I went through it pretty fast here because it was cut off. You'll see it again in a minute but I put down a label with a work sticker from her kit and a laptop for her kit, and then I put down a phone from her kit to mark that I called and talked to my boyfriend on the phone. On Tuesday, I put down a Today header, and then I put down one of those Mac stickers from Sticker Stirs, I think is how you say it. They don't have them in their shop anymore, unfortunately, though. Um, and I put down a foil bow on top of that. Then on Tuesday morning, I did wake up, like, really sick, and I ended up um, only going to one of my classes because I just could not, like, um, sit there and focus. I was just miserable, so that sick giraffe sticker is from my fitting addictions. Um, I have a PR code for her that I will always link down below. Luckily, I don't have to use those that often. Um, on Tuesday, that Netflix, dog watching Netflix sticker is from Sticker Sisters, and the study sticker is from Nightingale Paper Co., um, I know I went through that part pretty fast. That cleaning bottle is from the kit. The work sticker is from Paper Kumiko, and I do go back and add an Etsy icon from the kit to that as well. On the bottom of Wednesday, um, I put down a half box. That payday sticker on Tuesday is from the kit, and I added a book icon from the kit to that half box to mark one of my classes. And then I put down an appointment label with this bath sticker because I took a nice long hot bath. I've been taking so many baths lately and it's so nice. Um, but we have a hot tub, so I'm not sure why I don't use the hot tub hot tub more. Because um, then it'll like actually stay hot instead of getting cold. But it's kind of nice just to relax in the hot bath by myself and not have to like worry about other people. And I can just watch Netflix and read. Um, that study sticker at the bottom of Wednesday was, again, from Nightingale Paper Co. Moving on to Thursday, I put down a, was it a to-do header? A today header. Put down a today header with a checklist. I was trying to alternate those headers, which is why I did um, today instead of to-do. And then I put down another one of those Mac desktop stickers to mark my classes again. I like using those ones on Tuesdays and Thursdays since those are my longer days and it takes up more room. My classes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are a lot shorter. That um, coffee cup is from Inky and the Brain. I have a discount code for her too. Um, I just went to Jamba Juice that we just got on campus and studied. Then on Friday, I put down a full box, a to-do header with a checklist that I cut up into three hearts, and then a half box with a foil bow to mark 
one of my classes. And then under that, I put down a quarter box to mark that my cousin would be here by then. He was driving up. And then for the weekend banner, I just layered two strips of that chunkier washi behind the weekend banner. And then I put the rest of the deco around it. That's um, what I saved the rest of it for. Um, on Saturday, there was a football game that we were going to go to, which we didn't end up going to for a number of different reasons. But that football sticker is from my shop, Sunset Sticker Co. And right now, you can get 45% off with the code SPOOKYPE18. That is on my Instagram, too, um, until October 22nd. The TV on Friday is from... Tiny Little Tulips and the burger sticker is from Nicole Hutch Designs. The movie marquee on Saturday is from My Planning Addictions. Again, I have a coupon code for her. We went and saw Venom, and I think it was better than what I've heard critics saying, but I don't think it was as good as people are talking about. Um, I've definitely watched better Marvel movies. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't awesome like some of the other ones. So, um, that mermaid in the grocery cart sticker is from My Planning Addictions, and so is that nap time sticker. It's a little hard to see on camera just because the yellow blends in with the florals, um, but it just says nap time and has a pillow. And then that little book sticker is from Nicole Hutch Designs too. Um, it kind of sucked because our Wi-Fi was out and I had homework to do, but, um, yeah. So here I'm just showing you guys everything I have left. I have about half of the bows. I have a couple half boxes, most of the page flags and the script stickers, appointment labels, about half of the headers, just a couple labels on that sheet. And then here I have some functional stuff and icons, uh, about half of the checklist, and then just some strips of washi on that sheet. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!